Needing an off-white paint color? Fan of the modern farmhouse design craze? Well, I think I have just the thing for you in today's color code of OC13, and it's by Benjamin Moore. We got the code, now let's get to cracking. OC stands for Off-White Collection, and it's a series of colors that were curated by Benjamin Moore Paint to help narrow down and organize many of their ultralight colors in their collection. This doesn't include every single off-white that Benjamin Moore has to offer, but it's definitely a good portion of them. You can almost guarantee that if a color has that OC tag in the beginning, it's going to be light. OC13 is just that. This color is soft chamois, and its LRV or light reflectance value is 78.94. I'm James from thepaintpeople.com, and this channel is all about paint, and color code is all about paint colors. We not only do color videos like this on our YouTube channel, but also recently on our Instagram as well. If you haven't checked us out on the gram, we put up completely unique content daily, including an extra special color code quickie on IGTV that we just did yesterday. I can't believe I said the gram. What am I, 12? Come on. I'll leave the information in the description below, so I really encourage you to check it out if you want even more Paint People color content. And speaking of Instagram, you're going to want to stick around to the end of this video because we've got a very special giveaway to announce to all of you. And it includes money, which is good. So what color is soft chamois? Is it a white or a beige or a yellow or a gray? It really is a combination of all of them because what you have here is a color that appears almost milky with its soft and subtle warmth. On the surface, it really shows a subtle beige that's toned in with some gray. While you would think it would just be a simple grayish, the ratio of yellow and gray can sometimes give it a green undertone that comes through. But this is the sort of green equality that I really like to see in grayish colors, especially ones that are this light. And it really goes back to the types of color schemes I would use this color in. The modern farmhouse aesthetic uses a combination of warmer tones with some complementary cool sage greens or navy blues. And when you incorporate soft chamois with those other tones, it all seems to work together really nicely. Soft chamois also has that slightly higher LRV and when your light reflectance value is approaching the 80s, then you're truly in off-white territory and that could open up your space quite well. Where should you use it? This is without a doubt one of my favorite Benjamin Moore colors to recommend in a modern farmhouse color palette. I keep emphasizing modern because it tends to have a little more depth than a simply white, which is essentially just a warm white. Soft chamois feels more robust in its taupe undertone, and that touch of green hiding in the background adds a bit of intrigue that will complement more contemporary fixtures. If you're into brushed metals, maybe some chrome accents, the bit of literal coolness in soft chamois will really serve you well. Total main color that can really work wonders all over a house if you really want it. The only thing I'll mention, however, is it may be a little too light if you have a ton of really good quality lighting to fill the space. A color with a lower light reflectance value might look more substantial in those cases. Lighter colors like soft chamois can sometimes get a bit washed out. What's a good trim color for it? Because we're discussing farmhouse color schemes for the most part, I'll keep along that same wavelength and recommend a color I mentioned earlier, Simply White. While not a massive contrast in depth, Simply White and Soft Chamois have at least a 10 LRV difference, which is enough to show some contrast. I also quite like going with an ever so slight yellow tinted white that is bright enough to pop. You'd also be completely fine using a more streamlined or stark white in super white or even Chantilly lace. But when you start getting into off-white territory like Dove Wing, White Dove, or Ballet White, those just feel a bit too similar and maybe redundant as trim colors. If that's the kind of feel you're going for, then just keep your trim color and your wall color the same if you don't want that bright white instead. What are some interesting color pairings for it? I absolutely love going with cooler bluish grays in this case. In fact, the color we talked about in another episode of Color Code called Quiet Moments looks wonderful next to Soft Chamois. There are quite a few colors along these lines that will complement Soft Chamois really well, but if you want something that's a little warmer for the areas that you want to brighten up even more, then you can introduce the subtle beige Sandy Shores. This color pairing is going to be more of an adjacent color pairing while they're both a bit beige, but Sandy Shores will make Soft Chamois look even more green, which could add some nice visual depth. Can you compare it to other colors. Benjamin Moore's Dove Wing is extremely close to Soft Chamois, although I would say it's a touch lighter and has less of that green component. Dove Wing is toned in with a red leaning warmth, which makes it feel more of a taupe, 
rather than a grayish. They're close enough that I wouldn't use both colors in the same space. Instead, I would select one or the other, depending on what undertone I want to feature more prominently. The other popular Dove-themed color by Benjamin Moore is called White Dove. And I think it's worth mentioning here because it's quite popular in the off-white category. White Dove is going to be more white because of its higher LRV of 85. Click here if you wanna learn more about it and all the ways you can use it. I did mention a giveaway, didn't I? We've just started March Madness and every new follower we get on Instagram, we're putting 10 cents into a big pot and then giving it to one of you. Check out our Instagram to learn more and maybe make some money as well. See you on the next one.